The U.S. and North Korea are trading new threats just a day after President Trump issued a fiery warning to Pyongyang. And now the Trump administration is trying to clarify the president's tough talk. North Korea issued yet another warning to Guam late Wednesday, adding the North is, quote, seriously examining a plan to strike the U.S. territory with ballistic missiles, adding President Trump, quote, let out a load of nonsense when he said this on Tuesday. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury. Today, Defense Secretary James Mattis reinforced the president's message, telling Pyongyang to cease any consideration of actions that would lead to the end of its regime and the destruction of its people. I think Americans should sleep well at night. Returning from Asia, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson sought to dial back the inflammatory rhetoric. What the president was doing is sending a strong message to North Korea in language that Kim Jong-un would understand. While some lawmakers on Capitol Hill have been critical of the president's tough talk, others are offering their support. I don't think the rhetoric is a problem. I think the problem is there's a lunatic in North Korea with nuclear weapons and the ability to put them on a missile that can reach the United States. We can't have an all-out war right now. And that's where we're heading with the enormous tensions that have happened. This morning, President Trump tweeted he had ordered a modernization of the U.S. nuclear arsenal. He later added, quote, hopefully we will never have to use this power.